There's uh, some propagandizing to do in no particular order. Once I get going, my style is pretty much just to rave. The clues, the clues emerge tonight. Culture is the sanctioned virtual reality. And it is put in place by the machinery of local language. And so then you're born into this circumstance. And you're told, you know, you are a male child, you are a citizen, you are a citizen of the United States, you are a Christian, you are a Jew, you will go to college, you will do this. And you, this you never question. It's called the social contract. It hasn't gone unnoticed by Western philosophers. It's just, it's gone unnoticed by those of us who are its foremost victims. They try to tell you that you're in a social contract, but when you ask to see your signature on the document, they tell you that you were born into this contract. Well, what the hell kind of contract is that? It means that you were born into a kind of enslavement to a linguistically empowered paradigm of virtual reality within which you will walk around your entire life constant, uh, you know, congratulating yourself on its accomplishments and uh, ignoring its uh, contradictions and weaknesses. So what psychedelics do, and why they are in all times and all places such social dynamite, is they dissolve the cultural machinery. Doesn't matter. You know, head-shrinking Amazon native, Hasidic Jew, Chinese merchant of, in Singapore, whoever it is, the psychedelic dissolves their cultural construct and puts them in touch with the fact of being in organism. Being in organism is like what you get when you take off your real clothing. Not this clothing, but the clothing of language, programming, and assumption. Then you find yourself within the context of organism, outside the context of culture. And for the reason this is not a mass movement is many people hear that and they say, I know what that is, that's called being nuts. That's it for the gossip department. <laughs>